Hi, I'm Sophie Giuliano, author of Gorgeously Green, and I'm going to show you today how to make beeswax candles. Now, why I love beeswax candles, natural beeswax, over and above a soy or paraffin or really any other candle, is because number one, it's really safe. So the smoke and the soot that is burned is 100% safe. Not only is it really safe, but it actually is beneficial. It improves the air quality in your house and is really good for allergy sufferers, particularly those with asthma. So to think that burning a candle can actually help somebody is a really good thing. And then to cap it all, they're really pretty and very expensive to buy and very inexpensive to make. So what you need is sheets of beeswax. You can probably find them in your local craft store and if you can't just go online and, and, and look up natural beeswax sheets. You should very easily find it at, at a candle making store and they'll also sell the wick here and it comes in a little roll and if you just buy these things separately they're very very inexpensive. So you're going to take your sheet. Now, the width of the sheet will determine how, obviously how long your candle is going to be. Now, today I'm going to make a taper, which is going to go on the table for a dinner party setting. But you may want to make a shorter um, candle, like a pillar candle, um, if it's for a decorative purpose in your living room. So, so you choose. So I'm making a taper today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get the wick and I'm simply going to measure it, the width of my sheet of beeswax, so I'm starting at one end, plus about two inches. And then I'm simply going to snip that off like so. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I have a hairdryer handy. Now, I'm going to heat the beeswax. And the reason I'm heating it is that I'm softening it so that I can mold it exactly how I want to. Oh, it's a little bit like putty now. I think that's going to work to start off with. And also the wonderful thing about this, if you make mistakes, you can just start again. So I'm going to put my wick at the very, very edge closest to me of this beeswax and then I'm going to start rolling. So first off, I'm going to roll the beeswax just over the wick so that I get that set in there. And then you start rolling, really, as though you're rolling up a yoga mat or making sushi, if you've ever made sushi. It's actually a really fun, fun craft to do. It's a fun thing to do with kids because it's not messy and everybody can have a go. And then you just keep rolling very important that as you go you try to keep the roll really even because obviously if you're making a taper you don't want it to be fat at one end and not at the other now that looks almost as though it's done so what i'm going to do when i'm sort of halfway i'm just going to measure in have your candlestick to hand it's not quite big enough actually and then you can heat again if you find the wax is getting a little bit too hard you make a mistake, keep the whole thing, unroll it, and then start again. It's a no-brainer, this. If you're not using the whole sheet, and you come to your desired thickness, just with a sharp knife, just cut off the extra beeswax. Okay? Before I put it into the candlestick, I'm just going to cut the wick, so that I have about an inch there, and that is it. Look how beautiful that is. A gorgeous beeswax candle. And I shall make another one of those and that will be perfect for my dinner table setting for tonight. So for more projects, tips, tricks and recipes, please visit me at gorgeouslygreen.com.